Good morning. Today we are testing the pH of the water you consume. So let's go for it. First we're going to ta take a specimen of the tap water that's out of the faucet. I'm just going to get the specimens first and then we'll test them. The next one will be from the refrigerator. So I'm going to go right over here and get it from the refrigerator. Perfect. And that's filtered water. My next specimen will be reverse osmosis. The reverse osmosis is this system right here. You're going to see why I'm taking this back. All right, and then my next source will be from the Amway eSpring water. And that is down here. Okay. All right, so let's check it out and see where we're at. This is our tap water. This is our refrigerated water. Ooh, wow. Okay, this is our reverse osmosis. Whoa, uh-oh. Now you'll see why I'm taking the reverse osmosis water back. Okay, here we go. Where's my glasses? Need the glasses. Okay, perfect. So, um, ooh, okay, so tap water is coming anywhere around here. So that means like around 7.0, 6.75. Okay, the refrigerated water, kind of equal with the tap water, don't you agree? 6.5, 7.5, 7.0. Oh my goodness, look at the reverse osmosis. I might as well be drinking vinegar. This is crazy. Let's put that guy over here. And then this is probably the best one of them all. And this is the East Spring Water Amway system. Okay, so the tap water comes from the tap. The refrigerator is filtered. The reverse osmosis has a four, four um, uh, purification cycles that it goes through stages. But the Amway East Spring water, this guy has 15 different filters that it goes through. Listen, this is the reason, I'm not really surprised and this is why I went with that. First of all, it takes out uh, heavy metals but reverses and returns back the calcium, magnesium, zinc, the stuff that we really need. Then it um, has a UV light and that actually purifies the water. So any amoeba, any bacteria, that will be cleansed out. It will be UV light out, so sterilized kind of. Then uh, it removes the estradiols. Do you know what those are? Those are the hormones that are usually found in meat that we're trying and chicken that we're trying to avoid. Well, it's also in our water system. Did you know that? And it was, takes that out. And of course, the pH is 7.0 or better. And a person that drinks a lot of water as myself, because I work out so much, I was drinking the reverse osmosis. And so I might as well look at, I might as well be drinking vinegar. Do you remember our test yesterday? It just showed vinegar was this color. Okay, just to recap real quick, because a lot of people have the same question over and over again about the pH. You can do those tests that we did yesterday on the pH with the baking soda, vinegar, and water, but remember that the top layer here is most likely better significant for acidic products. The lower one, is for more alkaline. So don't get confused that there's two pads. All right, glad we could go over this. And, um, and let me see, here we go. I'm gonna show you this guy. And have a good day.